we're back after five months in this show. We talk about a lot of stuff. We're fucking back. You know, just as usual. Ah. See, except that season one, we got much more better equipment, which we talk about in the show. Yeah, um, uh, we downgraded a bit, but yeah, it's okay. Hey, you know, it's we, we're more portable now. Yeah, we, we can go about, anywhere. You know, we went portable. So season two, we're going to go exotic. Season two is going to be great. We talked about the our river trip, the unfortunate trip that turned out to be an almost two week trip instead of just an, we're in a shed a couple hours. Yeah, we're in a shed. It's not our shed. No, I don't know who shed this is. We just found it. Talked about our trip in Champlain, which we didn't get to go to the place that we wanted to. But you know what it turned we out to didn't be talk good. about, though? What? How the beavers stole my hair. Oh, yeah. The, you know, like, the beavers, I'm, like... My hair's gone. But that... You, they, you'll they shoot see. on his hair, and, you know, we had... They were hungry one night, and, you know, I can't blame them. Yeah, we, fu- we talked about some fuck towns in Alabama, Kentucky, and New Jersey. Some fucked, uh, f- some fucked laws in Arkansas. Yeah, fuck you, uh, Arkansas. Connecticut and Georgia. Uh, we talked about some fucked facts about some animals. Animals. You facts. Know, it, not all animals. No, it was it was all animals. It was all animals. Orangutans and... It was uh, tang. Bats. You put some tang in your ocean. And, and, and canoes and stuff. Then we, t- we were talking about, you know, uh, in the show, we talked about some fucked news about a Florida man. Because, you know, where does all fuck news come from? Fucking Florida man. Fucking Florida man. And then we talk about TIW, which has been non-existent all summer. So, hey, you know, like, welcome. (laughs) And before, just like any other show, open up. The White Claw. Open up the... Oh, fuck. I think I just broke my lighter. Oh. Fuck. All right, I got it. All right, we got it. All right, yeah, let's try this. This is a Cosmic Sour. This one goes out to Dabby Album tonight. It, you it, know? It goes out to the Claw. We'll be going with him to Taco Fest tomorrow. We'll yep, get Taco we'll, Fest. We'll touch on that one. Or, yeah. Stupid laptop never stays on. So, this is season two, episode one. And we haven't done a podcast in like five months. What's that taste like? I don't know. (laughs) That's actually kind of decent. I like it. Tart and wild. It's tart, but it's not wild. Yeah, it ain't no wild. White Claw is wild. Drink the claw. Oh. Uh, well, we're in the shed. We're fucking back. Yeah, we're in the shed. If you're watching the video, this is the shed. Yeah, for all you, uh, what, who, are we making them pay for that? Yeah, you gotta pay. Yeah, you we motherfuckers can, we'll better be paying. Out. Yeah, you better be paying. You know, we'll take deer piss. We'll take beaver piss. We'll, we'll take, take we'll take anything. giggle pickles, you know. Giggle pickles, yeah, anything, really, which are delicious. <laughs> we're we're easy. We're we're easy. Yeah. Well, all right. So yeah, this equipment. We got these wonderful mics that we've had since episode two of the first season. Yeah, got some new stuff. We got this light that we found out in the dump. Yeah, found out in the dump. Yeah. Um. Uh, this mixer right here, completely portable. You just plug it in to a uh, a portable charger, and you have podcasts anywhere. Yeah, we for anything. I mean, we tried it for a video. Uh, you know when they got kidnapped by the beavers. Uh, yeah, we'll talk but, about uh, that a bit later that, too. That didn't that didn't work out. But yeah, and then we got you know. This headset so I can hear myself. Uh, you know, it, it's pretty good. It was expensive. All this equipment came up to around $150. But, you know. It, that was a lot it, of drinking we it, had to do. It worked. Pay for oh, that. God, so many cans. So many cans. We must have spent like four or $500 just to make enough cans to sell to pay for this equipment we got. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Sometimes I wonder if it's worth it. It's always worth it. This uh, always worth it. Anyway, so new equipment's great. We're probably going to use these mics and this cool little mixer that I got for $35 off of eBay. Yeah, we'll probably use it for about 35 days. Yeah. Um, so, season two of Swamp Talk. A little more professional than the first. If we you're gonna have to, to blur this. This, sorry, you're gonna have to blur this out. It's illegal contraband. All right, all right. So yeah, so season two, swamp talk. We're just, just gonna use this new equipment because it works out pretty good, and we can actually go out into the swamp and record a podcast. Yeah. And we can use it as a boom mic. Uh, Zach Darvis already has his hands full with the camera, so... Zach Darvis has yeah, a baby. If he can hold the camera, he can hold the mic. Zach Darvis a- had a the, fucking kid. And the mixer, yeah, he had a baby. Out in Amish country. Yep. Could be Amish, too. Sorry, teaching it how to woodwork. An Amish Vietnam vet. Yep. Oh, Vietnam vet in the making. Yep. Uh, so, a couple days ago, probably about two weeks ago, we went for a, a river trip that we do every year. Uh, this this year was different because we had to find those damn beavers. And it turned to a tragic story. It was more like Mr. Miller went on a rescue mission. Well, it started off by, you know, gathering up some beavers that... Have been building we dams. Been, I don't even know where you found that kayak. Me and Brett had ours. Next thing you know, the beavers well, took us. The crazy thing is that kayak was the same brand as ours. I just found it at a house. We matched. Around the river. Almost like we planned it going down that river. Up that river. We went up a river. Yeah, we went up the river to find the beavers. Yeah. But yeah, the beavers, they, you know, right around where Muskrat lives easy passage it's great we have stuff stored out there in this field with trees and stuff then we haven't been out there since i don't know spring and then we go back a couple weeks ago and it's flooded and there's a beaver dam so all our stuff is just gone haven't been out there to retrieve Down the it fucking river and these damn beavers they usually the beavers build it right near where we Wait a minute. get there and that tripod did look familiar. Tripod? Yeah, that I used to cook on. Oh, you know what? Shit, I think that was our tripod all on. I think that, that was... That cooler! I, I recognize that cooler. Did all our stuff get taken by beavers? Well, that beaver dam we probably washed it down the stream and we caught up to it. I think our stuff is stolen by beavers. Washed away. A little fucking shit rats. Taking our fucking shit. River rats is what they are. Yeah. River Just shit rat. Little river shit rats. Taking the shit down the stream. <sighs> Those beavers. Muskrat Jack is not doing his job this year at all. Yeah. At all. Okay. It drives me nuts. Oh shit. It's supposed to take care of the beavers. He's an ungrateful fuck. But all he does is drink all day and piss himself. Never. Oh, wow. <coughs> Claw! Claw! Oh. <laughs> oh, this thing's giving me a headache. Yeah. I'm drink some more. Hey, I, you know, uh, so, yeah, we were looking for the beavers. Him and Brett were out in the kayaks trying to gather them up. And I heard some screaming, some beavers screaming. <laughs> Next thing I know, they're being dragged down river. And then I haven't seen them for a day, so I had to go through some yards and find my own kayak to go out there. And it turns out, I was only about an hour and a half behind Brett. Probably about a day or two behind you. Yeah. But, you know, eventually, you know, the pickles let us, the giggle pickles let us together, you know. the Giggle pickle. Really, it was just common sense, you know. They're not there, so go down the river. I don't know. Why we never thought of that. Yeah. That was pretty dumb. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. fucking stupid. But yeah, you know, we spent a few days out in the wilderness. Yeah, we we had some fun. 
Yeah, you're using I trash you bags. Say. But yeah, other than that, we haven't really done anything since uh, Champlain. Let me tell you about the Champlain trip. A little recap: we We're supposed to go to Burton Island. It flooded. Had to cancel. Had to go somewhere else. Yeah, I liked it. It was a little different. It wasn't the Champlain feel. But this place is great. I forgot the name of it. Oh, Grand Isle State Park. Yeah. There are actually people camping there. It was the only camping trip I've been on that I spent more time in Walmart. They spent a lot of time in Walmart. Than out in the wilderness. As I spent my most of my time around the island. Because it's another island, Grand Isle. It's an island the size of fucking New York City. Yeah, same island at... What's his name? Gurndy Ganders. Dirty Banders. Dirty Banders, that politician. Yeah, he lives on that island, or has a house on that island. And just right at the top is Canada. Yep. Great place. Yep. Feels as like Canada. you step over that border, you can never come back. Nope, that's why I didn't step over it, because I knew if I... If I stepped over that border, probably never come back. Canada's a great country, <laughs> eh? Hey, the fucking... Where are they? The Marshals? Something like that. What are they called? Yeah, them them guys. They'll be waiting at the border with brown paint to paint you brown so you don't belong. Yep. We saw it. Yeah, saw it at Fryhopper. Canada, they don't give a fuck. You're free to just go in there. Yep. No cameras. And then you look at United States science cameras and So many cameras fucking, and signs. Fucking <coughs> RPGs and tanks aimed at you. Oh the cool thing is we might have not gone to uh Burton Island. Like we do every year. But they wa- did win, regardless no, no, of starting to see... They won you the still year. fucking went. Oh, I still went. He still went. He went back a month later without us. Bastard. It took me about a week to kayak it. But I went. And they won Park of the Year. So congratulations to Burton Island. Congratulations for, you know... For winning Park of the Year, even though you over. started the year round. Oh my god. That's a that power f- to it. That fart. Whew. Shook that stool. <laughs> and, and other things we did over the summer was we just took it off. Yeah, took a break. We're actually about to wrestle for the first time tomorrow, which would be a week later by the time you guys hear this. So Yeah. We're going to Taco Fest. Yeah, I'm going to Taco Fest. Hopefully we're we're gonna wrestle. I mean it's all day. Well hopefully wrestling, I eat some tacos. So. Yeah, I There's I'm no much point rather in taco tacos, fest and but not eat tacos. DSB's out there and willing to get a little physical. I'm drink, if you I'm know drinking some tacos. I mean. Yeah, we're, we're gonna bring a blender. Yeah. And taco drink and put some white claw in there and have some a taco smoothie. Black cherry choco. Choco taco. Choco tacos. Alright, so even though this is a new season, we're still going to do what we always do. Fucked towns. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, let me use... It's been a fucking... Been year. five months. It's been like years, dude. Fucked fuck towns. towns. I got to pack a little skeevy in the... Yeah, pack that and um, I'll tell you about bacon level. So f- first fuck town is Bacon Level, Alabama. It's on bacon a whole nother level. Yep, yeah, it's on a whole nother level of bacon. I don't know what level it is, but it's located three to four miles. What if they mean it's level bacon, like their bacon's just very level? It's probably really smooth. Like you could put a square bacon on that bacon, and it would be like, the bubble would be right in the middle. This thing's too close to my face. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Ooh, help! So, so yeah, Bacon Level. Located three to four miles southeast of Roanoke in Randolph County, Alabama. This it's pretty interesting. Oh shit, that thing's oh. on. Yeah, that's how I made the modifications to that. Oh, nice. That, um... You know... I brought that out to the river with me to make some modifications to this kayak that I found. It was great. I lost it, and then I found it again. It's a good luck craftsman. 
good luck, craftsman. I mean, it totally could have came in handy if I had it. But we got to go back to that spot. Oh. It was just a good spot. I mean, a good spook, man. Oh. Go out there and set up another, another living area and do an episode of Cribs out there. This shit's made in China. <laughs> Hell for certain. Get it out of here. Kentucky. This town, our next town is called Hell for Certain. Hell in for Kentucky. certain. Uh, it's probably Hell for Certain. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, that's where you go when you die. It's gotta be. Uh, the one thing I found is it's in Leslie County. Leslie I think that's County. how it's say. In Kentucky, obviously United States. Hell for Certain was properly known as Dry Hill. Probably a hill that's dry and has no grass. Well, it has grass, but the grass is too dry. And it's located seven miles north of a small town of Hayden. Fuck, this mic is loud. That's the great thing about this new equipment is I can hear myself, and it just sounds so loud. Yeah, man. So I hope it's not that loud. Oh, right, man. Later. Oh! It's right hey. in front of my face. Oh, God. You know, one thing that sucks is hearing yourself talk and you can't really fucking talk over yourself. It sucks. You know, it's, I don't know how people do it. They listen to themselves and they do stuff. It's just bullshit. I can't hear shit. Now I can't hear shit because everything's too quiet. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are too quiet. Speak up. Oh, God. Dry Hill became known for or by this name because Dry Hill, which was the original name of Hell for Certain... Got its name because it is located near Hell for Certain Creek. I never want to go to that creek. Must be hell. Yeah, it must be hell. Uh, you know? Probably get a bunch of sand in your Oh, track. you know what? But this next one tells us that we should probably go there for the beer. Why? Because Bluegrass Brewing Company of Louisville, Kentucky, previously named one of their beers after Hell for Certain. All right, so we don't want to go there, but we want to get the beer. Yeah, we want to try. We, that want, beer. we want to taste the river. So, so if you're listening probably... ever once in your life, send us your beer. <sighs> you gotta blur that out. What? The vape. Oh, oh, yeah. Censor that. Ah, oh, shit. We do have to censor that. Fuck. Just... We're currently going through a ban right now. You know, so it's like vape prohibition. Yeah, you know. You gotta so, visit speakeasies and shit to oh, get your juices. You got BAMs in there? I'm yeah, dude, I got some. You want some BAMs? Yeah. Wear this shit out. Oh, God, I haven't had a vape in so long. <sighs> it's so good. Holy fuck. That's a go. Get Gonna die now. Yeah, we're definitely, we're certainly gonna die. All right, we're back. <laughs> we gotta have a little a couple of drinks, a little more. Uh, it's just a little more drinky poo. Where'd my mouse go? Okay. So uh, see uh, this laptop. That, that's gone. All right, so what we were on? Oh, fuck towns. <sighs> Buttsville, New Jersey. All right. Now you got my attention. Must be a bunch of butts. I thought it was going to be a bunch of butts. Butts town. But the only thing I found out about Buttsville is that it was founded in 1839 by Michael Robert Butts. <laughs> Must have had a lot of butts. <laughs> Getting some butts. Yeah. And, uh, and it was named for him. Named for him. Named for him. Robert, or Michael Robert Butts. Here's a claw to you, Michael Robert Butts. You're making a town of butts. Here's a sour, I don't even know, to you. So, well, well <laughs> our electricity <laughs> went out. Uh, thank God our mixer is not on this, so I gotta figure that out. Why did it do that? Maybe it got unplugged from the inside, bro. Well, 
I gotta go check this out. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, can't predict shit like this. You just gotta drink through it. And liquor will do all this problem solving. Hey, we got light. All right. <laughs> Must be that Kurt, the that curse of, of Michael Robert Butts. Yeah, he didn't like us saying his last name. You, you say Michael Robert Butts' name three times, and the lights, and your lights go, go out. out. He loses electricity, so I'm not gonna say his name again. Yeah. Next subject. Yeah. Well, Buttsville. If you're wondering where Buttsville is, where all the butts are, lies along the U.S. Route 47. At the north end of Route 31, I have no idea where that is because I made a life oath to never go to New Jersey. It smells so, like shit. Yeah, i would never been and I never want to. I have no interest. Uh, formerly known as Route 69. Ah, yeah. Oh, man, I'm definitely not going because they changed it ah, yeah. from Route 69 to 31. Uh, so, yeah, Buttsville, New Jersey... Our three fuck towns with fuck names is Bacon Level, Hell for Certain, and Buttsville. All right, so Buttsville. Oh, where is my mouse? This would be a lot easier with a mouse. Oh my god, I wrote so much for. Fucked, fucked laws. laws. Well, you better, you better pronounce Arkansas right, because in Arkansas it is illegal to pronounce the name wrong. It's weird. How are you Arkansas? gonna know? Arkansas. 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 Yeah. Well, should probably turn off the lights. Because they're coming to get me. Because I said Arkansas wrong. <laughs> it is strictly prohibited to pronounce Arkansas incorrectly. And it, I got a whole list of things about it that I don't really care. And I really wish I knew where my mouse was so Arkansas. I can go on to the next fucked law. He's out of here. He's got to pack his shit because FBI's coming. Yep. And you know, and I don't know where my mouse went. Oh, it's gone. It's right here. Oh, it's right there. There we go. They're all along. Arkansas. <laughs> it's all along. If you, if you go down there, don't pronounce it wrong because you're going to jail, bud. Don't say Arkansas. You know, I wonder if that is a sauce. Arkin. Arkin. Arkansas. Arkansas. I'd probably be good on some steak. Speaking of, we were talking about giggle pickles earlier. In Connecticut... Pickles must bounce. That's the law in Connecticut. Uh, we mentioned it um, in an earlier. To you, not all pickles bounce in Connecticut. Probably not. What but... if it's sliced? Oh, you know, I don't know if they that ain't test bouncing. It. If they, t I wonder if they test it before they slice it or test it afterwards. Because I highly doubt a sliced pickle bounces. You got this little sandwich pickle. It's a disc. A disc pickle. Disc pickle. They don't bounce. They just stick to things. They're, fun, They're frisbees. Just... Little mini frisbees that you know, stick to things. I thought I had some pickles in here, but... Then I remember this isn't my shed. This uh, isn't our shed. You know what? I wonder if the person that lives here shut off our electricity. Because it was unplugged. So have you been breaking in and plugging it back in? Oh yeah, this isn't our shed. It's not our shed. It's no one's been home for like two, three days. Just like the place that's, their lights are on. That's actually across the the field from us. You know, house is for sale. No one was there. Well, no, that one time someone was there, shot a shotgun at us. I wonder if that's why they moved. So we moved on to another place, and now we got the shed. Yeah, we we found some stuff. You know, it didn't seem like they've been home, but apparently, probably they are. We don't take nothing. We just steal stuff. So, yeah. I like this tool. Just 
tool things right here would probably be worth something. I feel like I have that. You know, I think everyone has this. It's weird. No, you I know feel what? like I have that now. That looks like our, our boiling bucket. This is coming home with me. Hold See, on. It's not taken if you steal it. When was the last time we've been home? We've been gone for a really long time down that river. Has this person been stealing our shit? Is this our tent? Yeah, it is our tent. What the fuck? Whose stuff is this? Someone's going out into the woods. I haven't been home yet. I've been sleeping in my kayak. Um... Over by the river. Fucking it's, swamp children. It's it's a nice place. You know, I can park my car there all night. And then I just, like, take a tarp and put it over my kayak with, with like, a pole. An old tent pole. And I put the tarp over it. And then I have uh, this mattress that fits perfectly in there. And that's where I've been sleeping. I haven't been home yet. I should probably go home, make sure all our shit's here. Because evidently, you know, someone's been taking our shit, my bucket. That's fucking cold. No, it is fall. So yeah, big pickles must bounce. We mentioned it in an earlier bounce episode. Mention it. Figured I'd mention it now. According to a 1948 article, this law became necessary after two scheming pickle packers tried oh, to sell pickles. Dirty fucking pickle packers. Like pickles. Uh, selling non bouncy pickles. Unfit for human consumption. So if your pickle doesn't... If your prickle doesn't bounce, your then you're pickled, going to jail. Yeah, and it's unfit for human consumption because apparently if they don't bounce, they're poison. A prickle must bounce in the state of California. So anyways, unfit for you. On the sly, Connecticut's Food and Drug com- Commissioner at the time proclaimed that this computer is way too fucking far. You know, I I can't just retain you guys this information. Your binoculars. Are my binoculars in here? They're probably in. We here. really need to check on our camp. This is worrying me. We got a lot of shit in here. Anyways, the food and drug commissioner at the time proclaimed that a real pickle should bounce when dropped of a height of one foot, leading to a new state regulation. Well, that's interesting. You know. We should check our giggle pickles and see if they bounce. Hey, you got giggle pickles? Well, we got to make another batch because we ate them all. So. We don't make them. Yeah. The river makes them. Yeah, the river. You take pickles and you set them, aho- you set them ahoy down the the, the, the Wakadumion River. If, if we learned anything from this tragedy of the beaver nappings, we learned that the river is much more powerful than the swamp. I learned that beavers don't like when you put pickles in their water. It's probably why they took you. Beavers everywhere, man. You can't eat fried chicken with utensils. Is an actual law in Georgia. Well, that makes sense because who the fuck eats fried chicken? Isn't Louisiana in Georgia? I think so. I think it's like the west of Georgia. So that's where Pop Boys is. Mm hmm. Pet Boys. Pet Boys. Pete, Eric and Patrick. <clears throat> Never met them. But they own a they own a store. And, uh, well, uh, can't eat chicken with utensils. Gainesville, Georgia is where it originated. Finger licking is not, suge- is not a suggestion. It's the law. You got a finger lick? Yeah, you got a... F- Can you lick other people's fingers? If there's fried chicken on it. Yeah, it's still not eating it with a utensil. I'm going to lick your fingers in Georgia, Louisiana. Never been. Sounds like a good place. Georgia, Louisiana. Where you celebrate Mardi Gras. Yep, celebrate it. They celebrate it every year on May the 5th. They call it Cinco de Mayo. I'm Cinco de Mayonnaise. You just... what? You it put sounds your, like... You put is, your, you, you fill your sink you, with you mayonnaise. S- exactly. You fill your sink with mayonnaise. And then you put on sombrero and you dance around it. Yeah. You know, you, on that day, everyone learns, you know, a little bit of Mexican. In 1961. Speaking, hang on, speaking of that, I was watching Shameless. 
Fuck it. What's 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 the little one? The youngest one. I forgot his name. Liam. Liam. Fucking. Kevin got like this immigrant child. They adopted an immigrant child, and fucking. Nobody knows how to speak Spanish besides Liam because he went to that fancy school and fucking. So they're like, you want, you need to, you need money because fucking what's her name went crazy and it's charging everybody f- to pay bills. So Liam's got to raise money. So they go off fucking to raise money and like they see like some bricks and like he's like, yo, you mind if we take some of these bricks? And like the construction workers are like, oh yeah, go take some bricks. And cuts cuts back to them and they're charging people. To place a brick to build a wall to keep the fucking little immigrant child out. And he's handcuffed to a fence and shit. And they're fucking... They split the funds afterwards. I was like, yo, that's greasy as fuck. <laughs> shameless, shameless, man. Shameless, man. So good. I just started the ninth season. So yeah, I'm, dude. I'm almost co- caught up. Yeah, you'll see it. Uh, that's it's great. coming up. It's coming Anyways, up. about this... Uh, you can't eat fried chicken with utensils. In 1961, law added to the city code. The city of... Gainesville. <laughs> City added added the code as publicity stunt. It is illegal to eat fried chicken in the poultry capital of the world with anything other than your fingers. Thank God we don't live down there. Because, you know, some chicken you can't eat with your finger. I mean, you can eat all the chicken. You can eat all chicken with your That's fingers. That's just bullshit. Never mind. Yeah, he's you, lying. You gotta eat it. But uh, tourist, a tourist was arrested for such a chicken forking violation in 2009. So You don't fork your chicken. This is serious, man. You don't... <laughs> down in Gainesville, Georgia, don't fork your chicken. They don't, you You're going to go to jail. You don't fork chicken in Louisiana, Georgia. That's fucked. Oh. Next we got... Uh, Fucked Facts. Fucked facts. <laughs> this one's real fucked. It's good. The fingerprints of a koala are identical to a human's fingerprint. They're, it, it's so identical that they have, on occasions, been confused at a crime scene. I was going to say, we should buy koala hands. That's and we'll tape really them onto idea. our hands, and you know, when we steal stuff, we we'll use the Brett koala Brett, hands. Brett knows how to use the black market, so we can probably get some yeah, he koala buys, hands. He buys, he buys spit. That's we gotta have a talk to him about that. Hey, you can't, you can't buy spit all the time. He buys this milk, spit milk. Um, he pays people that basically. people sw- that girls swished around their mouth and spit into a bottle, and he buys it. So yeah, he buys. If he can he buy buys that, we can milk. buy you know koala fingers. We need koala fingers, especially for the odd jobs that we're about to be doing to get a little money for the winter. Yeah, uh, we're going extreme this yeah, year. Brett has a lead on redoing someone's bathroom. So that should be good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to try redoing someone's bathroom. And, and then we're also going to try some extreme sports this winter. Yeah, ooh, that sounds good. We're going tubular bros. <laughs> tubular bros. Oh, dude. <laughs> Put the skeevies in. Makes me want to drink White Claw. Yeah, oh, I got to drink my sour, dude. So you know what I always wanted to try? We got to try. Ah. Is snowboarding off a roof. You know, I think I saw a snowboard right behind the shed earlier. We should probably take that when we leave. What we should do is use a snowmobile to pull us. We'll build a ramp. Well, this person at the is edge of the so that's perfect. Yeah, we'll steal this one on our way out. But we'll build a ramp at the edge over the gutter. That way, you launch off of it with the snowmobile's momentum. We're definitely gonna do some extreme sports. We're doing some fuck shit. Yeah. It's a new thing that we're gonna try this winter. And it's yeah. gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be we're, fun. We gotta. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're. We'll definitely do it. Uh, the next thing is uh, nearly three percent of the ice in Atlantic glaciers is penguin urine. Penguin piss. That's nearly three percent of the Atlantic glaciers. That's crazy. I mean, th- there's not much left, so the only thing that's refreezing probably is, is probably piss. the piss. Piss. 
So, oh, that means Piss Glacier. It's coming right for us. That means Bobby Boucher, when he drank that glacier water, it was piss. It was actually really penguin piss. <laughs> when you guys drink glacier water, it's piss. Piss glaciers. Piss glaciers. I know sounds they like, sell it. They sell it in stores, so it's you're drinking piss glacier. That sounds like something that you would, uh, like a a museum. They have in a in a trailer park museum. You ever been to a trailer park museum? No, I. This sounds like oh man. Heaven I went earth. to one, and this guy, he made a chair out of cans. Instead of just wasting our money, buying cans so we can turn them in to get stuff. Build our own stuff with our own cans. A chair out of cans. We should. We should build everything out of cans, kid. Uh, they retain heat. Yeah. Well, as the pl- long as there's a flame. The pl- Yeah. The place I went to was out in New York a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Heard about a trail park <coughs> museum. Help! <coughs> and it was fucked. I mean, all the things that they used for other things was just incredible. It's it's great. Breathtaking. Um, it's breathtaking. Another fucked fact is bats always turn left when leaving a cave. You know, we never had a we bat had, cave. We had an experience with, with pigeons. Does that mean Batman turns left whenever he leaves his cave? Probably. What if, like, the bad guys break to the right? And he's leaving, and he takes that left. He's just thinking, like, fuck, now I have to take, like, three more rights before I can get back can they to take, this bad guy. Can they take a right? I never encountered I don't think bats, bats are physically uh, capable. We should, you know... So they can only take lefts. When we got to, brought on top of this, you know, there's those caves up there. We should try to find some bats. Some brat caves. See, we're going to prove this fact and see if bats really fly out of a cave to left. Wait... Does it mean they leave what happens and go to bats left? in the winter time? I guess we'll find out because that's the only time to go up there. Do they fly south too? In in a couple weeks, uh, maybe. In a couple weeks, we'll be on we'll top of you this. Brought on top of this, the most sacred land. Hopefully, it'll be the most first sacred time land going up there, but probably not because he never in hangs out. All of. All of this, the most sacred land, we'll show it's you. It's the Church Brat of Brat. Of us. The Church of Brat. This is where and, he lives. And we'll tell you the story of Brat on top of this and the Church of Brat later when we go up there. We'll give you a little a little tour, a little a little uh, background a little of Brat on top people. of this, you know. Just let you know, right, right in a, a, a mountain, a, an undisclosed location... Brett has a church. You know, Brett's past was never really talked about. And I think it's time to talk about it. Just not right now. Yeah, just not right now. Um, We'll get to it. Uh, oh! <laughs> I just let one loose, but you know what? You know what can't let one loose? Kangaroos. Kangaroos can't fart. I didn't look up any facts about this or why they can't fart. Just know they is, can't fart. Kangaroos can't fart. So the breath probably stinks. Maybe they do fart out of their mouth. I've never been to Australia, so I wouldn't I know. mean, everything's backwards there, so maybe even every, the yeah. people. You know, they fart backwards. Instead they of, fart out their mouths. Instead of, fart, instead of farting out, they fart in. You know, kind of like... They suck in like through a, their ass, and uh, they belch out their mouth. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's drinking the Miller... Miller High Life? That's not oh, a High nope. Life. That's just normal Miller Light. He's drinking like he, he's a little lady poo. You know, just, just a little drink of poo. Oh, God. Around 50% of. I can't uh, see shit. Okay. Your screen is but, like just all blurs right now. Around 50% of orangutans have fractured bones. Due to falling out of the trees on a regular basis. Orangutans, you should know, not trees are too high. Stay on the ground. You would silly. think an animal that is made to climb trees can climb trees. Nope. They suck at climbing trees because they apparently fracture bones on a daily basis. Stupid orangutans. Stranger dings. You know, I never 
had an encounter with orangutan. I tried, actually, just right at the I beginning had. of the summer. See, I have yet to see orangutan out here in the woods, but he has. I, and that's no, why we went hunting what was for orangutan. That drink? Was Oranga it? orange? No, yeah, well, it was like the powder. Orange tang. But they, yeah, orange tang. Tang! There, yeah, that's where I experienced my first orangutan. Oh. Stranger tang. So he has two encounters with orangutan. Yeah. Out in the woods. Out in the woods. You mix, I spent a little, you mix some tang water. Two days looking for an orangutan. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. Orangutans. <laughs> orangutans are fake. Stranger tanks. Yeah, stranger tanks. Stranger tanks. They're fucked animals, man. Like, I watched that pieces. show. I watched Stranger Tanks. I still haven't watched any of it. Wow. Must I have in the trailers? I have seen no orangutans. Fucking Netflix. Uh, wow, this is a little bit outdated. <laughs> I prepared season. Two, episode one months ago so here's some old ass news i think it's news maybe it's just news in general i don't know like i said i made this about a month ago but here's some here's fucked, some, fucked news. news florida man drunkenly called 911 to report <laughs> florida man reported <laughs> r- reported his wife said his wife is a black widow spider I completely forgot about this. <laughs> so a Florida man. I mean, this could just be in a segment of everyone because all the fuck stories come from Florida. Florida's so fuck. this Florida man drunkenly called 911 to report his wife is a black widow spider. What was he drinking? <laughs> Did he get know. into my beaver piss? <laughs> okay, so this isn't something that was around the time that I made this. Uh, it, it was on January 17th, 2008. Look it up. Florida man reported his wife as a black widow spider. What would she look like if she's a black widow spider? Like a human black widow spider? Or a black widow spider? What if it was on Halloween? You know, it reminds me of that song. Isn't, isn't Halloween in January? Sometime around that. Yeah. But in Tarpon Springs... Uh, Tarpon Springs police officers were dispatched to a home on Black Crush Drive around 1.36 a.m. Who gets drunk? Who's, like, that drunk at 1.36? We start drinking as soon as we wake up. Seven. And and we're fine. We're fine. Seven p.m. But, uh, William William Rutcher... Who's 61, that explains everything, 61, called 911 to report his wife was a black widow spider and requested that she be baker acted. Baker acted? What the fuck is baker acted? Probably should have looked that up too. I have no idea what that means. But, um, you know, before... Before leaving the residence, officers informed Roger that the 911 system is for emergencies only, which makes sense. I mean, I mean, unless his wife is really a, you know, a black widow spider. Um, despite the warning from deputies, Roger called 911 again. Less than two hours later to report that his wife was a black widow spider. All right. When someone calls 911 twice... You know they're telling the truth. This dude's wife was Black Widow Spider, and no one helped him. Who calls 911 twice and, and lies twice, two and a half hours what if later? He married a Black Widow Spider. It's like that song. Play the song. I'm in love with a spider now. Okay, I think it's time to bring my friends around. Okay. So that's the song. Probably not gonna remember to put it in. So I fell in love confused. with a spider's booty. Once. You know, it's fucking spooky, man. Yeah, it's spooky. It's a spooky booty. After the second call, Rogers was arrested and charged with misuse of wireless nine one one system. He was transported to jail. Well, that's fucked. I mean, why did he get? He got arrested. The for dude probably wasn't even drunk. He probably sobered up around one thirty six a.m. and realized, oh, 
My wife is a fucking black widow. Uh, how spider. did I marry this? Anyways, he was brought to jail and transported to jail around 3.15 a.m. On Tuesday. You know what happens on Tuesday? Wednesday's right around my, the my corner. Hump day! Anyways, on Tuesday, but has since been released because he served his time according to jail records. So we never really found out if his wife is a black widow. <laughs> Hi. Now, now, Hi. In wrestling. And we're back. Yep. 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 In, wrestling in wrestling news. Wrestling news. DSB makes a return to PAPW. Maybe. Probably not. Because we're going to be f- fold up on tacos. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's fucking tacos. Well, TIW, non existent. Uh, they're you, still trying actually, to figure their shit out. Our podcast, speaking of TIW, our podcast, we didn't report on End of the Road. End of the Road. DSB with Kennedy Copeland versus We won the Dignified. We won. You yeah. know, it was it was great, you know. Yeah, we beat uh, them. The power we of did three, it and we made know? we made, you know I mean Roman Dinkus retired. It, it, it appears we kinda of forced him to retire. It appears that Dignified Couldn't we were in a us. rivalry and we didn't even know it know it because Dignified didn't even like us and we, you know we thought we were cool. We, we thought, thought we were, were cool, bite, bite. but apparently the entire time that they thought we were in a rivalry, idiots. <laughs> and then we came back and we beat them. And we beat them with Kennedy Copeland, finally. Kennedy fucking you know? Copeland. Yeah, shout and out to she you. got the pin, you know. So, I mean, who, we kind of all got the pin. Yeah, we all got the pin. She was legal. So what happened was... Something happened. I she think. tripped over a chair. Or were you legal? I forgot who. Was legal. We don't even know who was legal. Uh, who was legal? That's why we all dogpiled. Uh, I kicked a chair into fucking that his face. The the bigger guy there. His face. Justice Jamar. Jingle Jamar. And then you know Kennedy tripped over a chair. Uh, when forced she went, us to step in. You know, and then, you know, it was the perfect opportunity because after she tripped over the chair, Famouser. she just happened to, you know, Famouser. punch him right in the nuts. And then I hit him with a Famouser. And then I jumped on. The referee yelled at me. So then we all just jumped on. So we don't know who was legal in that match. He was but a big dude. One needed, of us obviously he was. three of us on. So, you know, yeah. And then there was we Bentley Brook. It, and there was Bentley oh, Brook. Bentley this is Brooke. fucked. This is real fucked. Did we win? Uh, or did we lose? Uh, We'll get to that. Hold on. We won. Yeah, we did win. We won. You know, we won. this match. I was... got a fucking mustard in my hair. Yeah. It was, you know, just as soon as I saw that, fucking like, man's we won this. Land well. Anyways, the original match was supposed to be on Saturday. And then it rained. It was supposed to be Dylan Street Boys, us, versus the stepdads, bad idea, versus Maiden Black. And, and you the know. Worse idea. And you know what? Because it got canceled because of rain, and then, you know, because... Stepdads it, had to go. Stepdads had to go. Clean fucking uh, You know, it was for the tag team ch- championship. You the know cooking, what? You I know? think they're scared. They're scared. That's they're why scared they, of what's going like, to happen. DSP is going to take our belts. Yeah. And we're just, we're just going to go. We're gonna, you know what the problem is? I think they're from New Jersey. Yep. That's... Yeah. Everything's wrong with New Jersey. Yeah. Anyways, you know... So we had to reschedule it around noon on Sunday, the following Sunday when it was nice out. And yeah. it was just us versus Men in Black. And somehow we won yeah, by disqualification. We, disqual- they cheated. So for the past all summer, we've been Shout number one. Shout out con- to Ryan because he caught it. He said they cheated. The ref yep. listened. We won, you yep. big fucking and cheaters. And now we've been number one contenders for the TIW cha- Tag Team Championships all summer. So, yeah, you know, you know, oh, and then Adam Haggerty is gone, you know, no more fun boys. Yeah, no more fun boys. Somebody had to throw him in a pot. Now we got, now we got to wait until who knows when to find out who the next manager is. And you know what? As soon as we find out, we got to get in with them. As soon as we find out the new manager, I feel like it's our obligation to protect them and make decisions for them. If it's Saul, then you know what? Saul? We'll have to try harder with Saul if it's Saul. Saul? Saul will probably be a new manager, but whoever it is. So you better hold well, the door for us now. If we Yeah, hold the you. door open for us. Yeah, Saul. You know, like, come on, man. We've, we've been entertaining the crowd since 
2018. Yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me. You know, co- coming out in the winter is a year of DSB. Year of DSB. You know, new di- last year we had Cribs. This year we're going to have a year of DSB, which follows us from when we first came out as prospects during that rumble there. All the way up Everything. until the Kennedy Copeland match uh, in End of the Road. At TIW. And then, so, you, you know, know it's... we'll have more details on that when we actually do it. It so, may you know. include some stuff. From other companies, too. Yeah. And what's developing over in th- those those lands and how we swampify things. So, you know, there. if you're listening to this before, um, um, let me check the date. What's Saturday's date? So if you're listening to this before the 12th of October, check us out. DSB is back. Found each other through the swamp. We'll be at NYCW Year One of the For Battle Royal. For those to win of the you wondering, this was recorded on Saturday the fourth, correct? Or no, Friday? That was the 4th. Friday. Uh, yeah, it's Saturday actually, the fourth. It's actually the seventh. It's the seventh. Yeah, it's the seventh today. It's Monday. Yeah, yeah, it's Monday. It's all right. We've well, then we wrestled. Weeks. It can't be Monday because we wrestled. <laughs> oh, you know what? My computer's lying to me. Can't be Monday because yeah, we're wrestling no, tomorrow, it's... and tomorrow's the fucking fifth. yeah. It is the fifth. Yeah, no, today's Friday. Yeah, <laughs> you know, being out in that river for so long, you kind of forget. We're just what gonna is. from now on, you know, we'll just record on Mondays. Yeah, since your computer believes it's a Monday, it's because I have it clicked on there. Well, unless you got anything to talk about, that's it. That's all I can think of. I think it's time for, you know. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Let me make sure this is good. It's time for Choreo! It really pisses me off that these old fucks want to ban vaping. When they don't even know the fucking details to everything. You know, they think THC cartridges and flavored vape is all connected, but people are only dying from the THC cartridges, so just get rid of them, you motherfucking old fucks. God damn it. I've been vaping for 10 fucking years plus. And I ain't dying. I ain't dead yet. Do better at keeping teens out of fucking stores and keeping it out of their hands if you got a fucking problem with it. But until you ban cigarettes, don't even think about ban vaping, because there's always a way. There will always be a fucking way.